Hey guys, it's me again, Org Slayer. What ifs? Where I last left off, let's see. Check, check, checking. Deku, as they got done with debriefing the captain such about the events that transpired with Momo and her family, they'll be helping Deku and the Lamenters. As for what happened at the end of the video, uh, the guy in saying Gorilla, his what ifs are actually pretty neat. I would recommend watching them. But, uh, side note. He is, he suggested Fulcrum, and I actually do really like that name, because I've been trying to, I was trying to use a word generator, or a name generator for 40k, but he just dropped that in my lap, so thank you, Insane Gorilla. And yeah, uh, so I'll get, get on with the video. Uh, as Sato wakes up after being worked on by the Lamenter's health staff, or medical staff you can call him. He's like, <laughs> as he like puts up his arms and like, he's prepared to throw a couple more punches. As Deku, as pretty much Izumi's like, you gotta calm down, Sato, calm down, Sato. Everyone is okay. Family's okay, alright? As he's like, huh? <laughs> he's like, calm down, alright? How about I get you something to drink? As she walks over and grabs something to give it to him. As he's like, where are we? <laughs> who, who's so? <coughs> <coughs> who are those men? She's like, ah, you had the unfortunate event of running into cornate berserkers. It's like, who's corn? Berserkers. And she's like, I'll explain everything to you. As she goes on a tangent, not tangent, but she goes on to explain to him everything that transpired with the uh, Cornate, who Corn is, and all that nasty business with the Chaos Gods, and who, as he's like, then, uh, uh, before I blacked out, I saw a person with wings, and you? It's like, wait, Deku was there, wasn't he? Excuse me, just had dinner. As Deku says, I think that's about my time to come in. As it's like, hey, Sato, it's good to see you. It's like, hey. Oh, geez, this was a fright, I'll tell you that. He's like, you got any cake lying around? He's like, <laughs> we'll get you some cake in a little bit, Sato. But, uh, do you want, has my sister explained everything to you? She's like, uh, yeah, I assume we did. It's like, good, good. Something I would like to offer you. As before he's able to do it, it's like, excuse me, uh, come, it's, uh, Izuku Midoriya. Izuku, please report to the thing. We have a problem. Repeat, report in. As he, Deku's like, oh, I'll go deal with that. You just hang tight, Sato. As he goes walking off. As when he gets to the situation, it's bad. As then, this is what he sees when he comes in. He sees the Inquisitor and the group of Black and the group of Death Watch holding the Sato's family pretty much at gunpoint, ready to execute him. As the other mentors are like hands in the air, as it's just a mess. As the Inquisitor says, they are they have knowledge of about our arch enemy. They must be dealt with for the great for the safety of mankind. As Deku's like, hold your horses. Inquisitor as he pretty much raises himself actually like he strains up completely as he wa pretty much stomps forward you have no right to make that call I was the one who saved them and my sister do not remind me of that abomination you call a sister and Deku's like watch it Inquisitor this entire room of space marines could not hold me back so watch your tongue. As Deku is growing, has grown tired of the Inquisitor. And how, like, he somewhat disrespects Deku in some ways. As the Death Watch Marine is like, And you stay back, filthy abomination. He's like, come up with something new, Templar. As he's like, Do you have no right to choose who to execute and who to let live. From what I've been told, you Inquisitors sure do love to put a bolt shell on anyone's head. Finds at least a 
inkling of what chaos is. And it's like, oh, now you definitely sealed their fates. We could have easily persuaded them that they were not got chaos. But now, he's like, you will not harm a single hair on their head. As he's like, oh, I know I'm not. They are. As the Black Death Watch are like, oh, no, he ain't gonna. As Marines are about honor and all that. But they, when it comes to killing, sure, if they're like, if it's a necessity, I think. Some of them, if, like, if they view it as a necessity, they'll do without hesitation. Some of them are more, like, order obey, like, they obey orders to the absolute. So most of these ones in the Death Watch crew are not, aside from the Black Templar and, well, the, actually, the Black Templars actually kind of hate the Inquisitor as well, but he sees these people as an absolute threat, somewhat, so he's prepared to execute them as well. As Deku says, fine, then how about a duel to decide the fate? As it's like, fight a duel with you, that's not, that's not fight you that's not a duel that's an execution <laughs> I want to know how many of you get the reference but uh what happens on from here on Deku and all of them are having a pretty much a standoff until the Inquisitor just realizes he can't win this so as he goes to like surrender the Black Templar is like we cannot give up Inquisitor that is our orders, our, is it not? He's like, We're outnumbered, Templar. Especially among the Death Watch, even. As he, the Templar looks back at them, but the others, actually, as the others stare him straight down, saying, We are no longer in the Imperium, so technically we don't even have to obey his orders anymore. We simply do so out of honor. We will not kill innocents who have been, as far as we know, have not been even have the slightest bit of corruption in them. The librarians have been che checking on them hourly. As the Black Templar relents and finally sheaves his sword. As he's like, this isn't over. As Deku says, yes it is. If I ever hear about you or your Inquisitor Master, as he would put it like that, Trying anything like this, I do not care if you are in the hospitality of the Lamentas. I will end you. As Deku makes it abundantly clear, he's not joking. He will kill him. As even the Black Templar knows that he could do it with ease. The only way that they would have a chance of standing against Deku is that they had like two, three squads of, of Death Watch. Inquisitors with power armor and a trap laid beforehand. That's the only way they're gonna get them. As Deku dismisses them as he walks away, as the captain says, actually speaking with the assassin, saying, Would you really kill them if we asked? Those two at least. Deku is a far more valuable as. Yes, yes, we've heard it. He's a far more valuable asset than two in than an Inquisitor and a single Death Watch sergeant. It's like, hmm. Very well. They have another incident. You don't even have to ask permission. It's like, thank you, Commander, as she bows her head and walks away. Do you think we made the right choice? We can't really decide that or not. Oh, maybe our bad luck is starting to come back. As they're rubbing, he's rubbing his temples, he's like, maybe he's never on. But hey, we may have the chance to stall it this time with not being as intertwined with the warp as we were the Imperium. It's like, that is true, Captain. Let us hope it holds to it. It's like, agreed. For now... We shall focus on other details that require our attention. If we go back to Deku as the Lamenters escort Sato's family away, as Deku reassured them that Sato's had made a complete recovery, and that he'll continue to grow strong, he would like to ask Sato. He has a few questions to ask Sato, though, as he leaves. 
They're like, um, what's gonna happen to Sato? Hmm. As they walk over, Sato's like, um, thank you, Midori, for what you just did. Uh, we were just... We weren't informed... Well, actually, the S some lady wearing weird clothes came and told us what had happened. She reassured me that it won't happen again. He's like, yes. As he looked, turns behind him, not seeing anything, it won't. <sighs> but back to the question I was to ask you. Sato, your strength is great and your bravery is even greater, I would say. Not many would tackle a foe such as those if they... Did you think you could win? It's like, no, Deku, I didn't. He's like, really? Why'd you charge ahead then? He's like, they were... Family was defenseless. I couldn't just not do something. If it wasn't your family, would you have done the same? Sato looks down and says, uh, Don't tell anyone I said this because everyone thinks I'm a... Follow the rule, laws and such, but... Your sister's rubbed off on me. As Deku hears that, he's like, <laughs> and then I have no further questions. As he says, Sato, I'd like to extend an invitation, uh, invitation to you. It's like, as Izumi even looks at Deku, since we came here, our numbers have been low. With the final battle, with the battle that led to us being brought here, we'd lost a few dozen I think it was a couple like a uh, they lost a bit of a few Marines and like normal militiamen that they had with them as he asked I would like to invite you into the ranks of the Lamentas you would go through a training period not just our training period a rigorous training period unlike anything you have ever done before your bones will be broken and you will probably cough up blood more than a dozen times as Izumi's like, Deku, you can't be... Please, Izumi. But this choice is entirely up to you, unlike many. Many usually seek out this honor to join the ranks of a Space Marine chapter. And some of them have no choice. As he explains about how he doesn't know the exact process, but he knows a few of the different methods chapters use. Either they're chosen from lineages or they're just literally grabbed off the street by from gangs. It all depends on the chapter and location that they recruit at. He's like, I see. And you would just let me join? He's like, you'd be put with the other scout marines of course. We'd, I would try to help you with your quirk training because I do remember the little bit of that. I would become Yin. You would also be. I would also give you. With the gene seed that we have on hand, we have a few other aspirants and initiates being taken in and trained. But there really isn't that much gene seed since we've been trying to grow more. So, you'll be taking some gene seed. My gene seed. They say it's. Sub from what they've done with medical scans, they say it is more clean. Even, like, unusually so. But that does not matter. I would grant you that honor, if you would say it, to join my chapter. Well, this chapter. I will give you a few days to think about it, but no. That this will not be, you must choose within a month. By then, the process will become more and more difficult for you to ascend to be a space marine. It's like, what do you mean? Adults do not have the best track record. Me, grown men don't have the best track record when it comes to surviving the process. Even now, some aspirants will die. But it is a risk you must be willing to take. Osato says, I'll get stronger, way much stronger than you are now. We'll even be taking some of your tissue samples so that way we can grow special muscle, special organs just for you. So that way 
Your body, since with your quirk, the strength enhancing, you'll become far stronger than even me when you use your quirk in the final stages. You will outmatch me in strength and maybe even in speed. I, again, that is what I offer. Asado says, this sounds like a good deal, I guess. Would you be protecting my family as well? He's like, they will already be assured protection, Sato. We will try our best to keep an eye on them, if this is like what we can do. We're even helping a few, another family with the same problem that we ran into. He's like, really? So, yes. But until then, we'll continue, we'll start your training tomorrow. So like, thank you, um, as he call, as Sato just calls him like his, I guess would best way to say is senpai, which I believe is, or, or uh, I just looked it up, it's like senpai, senpai, one of the two, senpai, there we go, as he'll be referring to, as he refers to Deku as his senpai, teaching him the ropes and how to control his strength when it eventually comes to it. As Deku says, like I told you, we'll be starting your training tomorrow. So, I do hope you two... He's like, I got school tomorrow. He's like, well, damn it. Very well, we'll take it back. You should be all healed. As he, like, removes some of the bandages. Uh, yep. It's amazing what apothecaries can do. As he leaves, as he tell, takes the rest of the family back to them. As, before they left, they gave him a down run on what's gonna happen. They're gonna have people watching over him. And that... You have people watching over him to ensure that everything's fine. As Sato like tells him what's happening with him, the other, the younger ones, his younger siblings, like his little brothers and such, are saying, "Wait, you get to become a school space crusader?" As it's like, uh, as he like rubs the back of his neck, yeah, sort of. They're like, oh man, I want to become one. It's like, no, I want to. As they're like, all like really excited out of nowhere. As Sato's like trying to keep his family all calmed down. But Deku said, Deku lets out a laugh as he walks up. He's like, <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. As it's like, I would, it wouldn't be best for you to join now. When you are older, as the rest of them are like 10 well, actually, it's like, I think it's, well, anyways, as he's like, we'll check with you when you're older. There is a certain age you gotta be before you, we would con even consider you joining, and even before then, you must be a f physical, f physically fit, and mentally strong. So as to survive the process, as is like, survive? What do you mean survive? As it goes like, I've said too much, he's like, well, before that, as he gets the location knocked into the thing, we shall teleport here. As they all teleport, and all the children are like, whoa, this is weird. As the adults are given, again, given even more details about what's going to happen. Deku says, we'll start your training tomorrow, Sato. Till then, keep your normal r routine, I guess. It's like, thank you, senpai. As it's like... It has been a pleasure, as he gives a bow to the rest of Sato's family. It's like, come on, Izumi, as they all teleport away. As we skip several months forward. As we'll cut to this part right here where it's... I don't know why my nose is going. Give me a second. Sorry about that. Um, Yeah, where I was going to go is now I'm going to talk to you guys about how Fulcrum is doing. As we skip to the very dark and shady place, Fulcrum, Fulcrum is conversing with uh, All for One. Yeah, All for One. That's his name. As he talks with him about what's happening, as he's like, I would like to introduce you to somebody. As he turns around, this is Tomura Shigaraki, my disciple. As Fulcrum looks like, he looks, no, he looks. No older than a mere boy, sir. He is... Hmm. As Fulcrum's looking at him, I just looked up Shigaraki's age. Right now, he is 20. I mean, 18 since... Deku... Well... 
Deku and them are... He's 20 right now. Deck, since Deku and them are going to UA at the age of 18, he's like 22, 23. As he's looking at Shigaraki, he's like, this is your disciple? As he's like, something the matter with him, Fulcrum? He's like, I had plenty of disciples who could easily kill him. And from... He's like, do not underestimate Shigaraki. He still has much to learn. You should train him with trial by fire. It's the only real way for a candidate, any real disciple to learn. With strict punishments for failure. As he says, I want to encourage Shigaraki to grow. To each their own. Why are you introduce me, introducing me to him? As by this point, Fulcrum has learned to speak Japanese. I would wish, as from what I heard, you have skills and have knowledge that could greatly assist in the growth of Shigaraki. He's like, you wish me to help your pupil. As he's like, yes. He's like, hmm. Hmm, maybe. But his power is not nearly enough for me to teach him how to fight or how to take him on mission to actually learn. I would be covering him for a while. It's like, is that not the way you space marines do it? He's like, no. We will throw them into the inferno and those who come out not unscathed but come out alive will be welcomed. He's like, so what do you have in mind? If you give me the ability to grow organs, I could possibly help you figure out how to make implant. Get like this all figured out. As he talks with him saying that he's he was an apothecary at one point. He did learn some of those like very valuable secrets. He somehow like one day he was able to like he's was psyker, psychic. He just really repressed them. And when he was an apothecary, one day he came about that he couldn't defend like the people who he, like his injured brethren. So he launched a torrent of lightning and it was really powerful. But when it, after that, what happened was that he was ostracized, saying that the synth psychers are not liked in the Imperium at all. So eventually he was ostracized and came to loathe those he used to want to help. As when that's when he started conversing with demons of Zinch and the like. As they granted him knowledge, he grew even more powerful as a psyker. Eventually to a point one day he killed his brethren and fled to join a Chaos War band, eventually killing his way to the very top. Fulcrum puts on a ruse of power. When in truth like any other Chaos champion, except for like few others who actually have some things to respect and I guess he will run away like he did with the blood and with the lamenters that boarded his ship <clears throat> but I digress as he says that he will attempt to help Shigaraki and to turn him into something worthy of a disciple of him as he a worthy disciple of folk of Fulcrum, as he says very well. <sighs> On another note, Fulcrum, is there have you had any success with contacting other the other side? He says, minimal. Even though, from what I can tell, the chaos presence is far greater, we would still need to pinpoint a location where I can actually get a stable channel. You could say. Is not as simple, as simple as oh, me conjure up and sacrifice a few things. If it was the normal way, if I was in my other the other realm, it would be. But it's more strained, even with from what I, as like I told you guys, with Deku and all them coming through, it has made Earth or the My Hero World or universe more noticeable, and it can be invaded. But it's not noticeable enough where anything major would come through intentionally. It's still like a lot of accidents that show up there. 
She says, that is what we would have to pinpoint. I could try meditating and focusing, but until then, I'll help you with this Shigaraki. But be warned, he may not survive the process, as Shigaraki's like, huh, Master, I know you like this guy, but come on. As he like starts to go scratch his neck, he's like, stop scratching your neck. It is unsightly. He's like, now be gone. Me and your master have more words to discuss. As he turns his back, as he begins to look at the Nomu. Saying these creatures will become formidable forces in the, my master's army. He's like, your master, forgive me, I'm still not used to this. Your army all for one, but remember our deal. Some of these creatures could become a great use to my lord. He's like, I understand that. And I will not go back on our deal. I am a man of my word, most of the time. As he looks sideways, glances at Shigaraki, seeing Shigaraki is somewhat agitated, but he actually has stopped scratching at his neck. He's like, hmm, maybe I do need a more firm hand when it comes to Shigaraki. As they summon up Kuragiri, saying that, Kuragiri, you will take Fulcrum and Shigaraki to a location to train. Do I make myself clear? As is like, yes, master. As he sucks them two up, as he goes off. As he's like, any luck, doctor, figuring out how a mutual friend, armor, and the like works. Can we duplicate it? He's like, no. It's like, what do you mean, no? We can charge it. We can do anything. But we're going to need a lot of equipment to manufacture a single set of whatever he's wearing. He's like, very well. As he goes back to looking at some of the monitors, saying, as he looks at it, as he sees All Might, it's like, All Might is here, crushing villains. All for one sort of lashes out unintentionally, destroying a tank with a Nomu in it. As he's like, oh, forgive me, Doctor. That was an accident. He's like, it is no problem, my lord. As he turns away, going to clean up the remnants of whatever fell out of the thing. As Shigaraki's training begins, we cut over to Deku and Sato. As Sato's like, huh, huh, huh. As he actually throws up, he's like, I told you, Sato, your training will be vigorous. As he's like, I understand, senpai. As he's like, take a breather. <sighs> as Deku like, grabs some water, as Sato's like, huh. It's like, you'll recuperate for now, but until then, I shall treat you, teach you more about history and how to speak this language. As he is teaching him how to speak Gothic. I thank you, sir. It's like, it is no problem, Sato. When it comes to teaching, I'll do my very best to train you. As there's sort of like a parallel. Fulcrum's very harsh and like almost borderline torture training for Shigaraki versus Deku and Sato's, which is Deku is a very harsh trainer, but he also understands that so he can't just break Sato. He ain't like that. He he says hell. I don't even know if I would have survived the training. I was just lucky with genetics. Oh, that was an accident. As it says, so are you almost done growing? He's like, almost. I have a, from what they can tell, my suit is ready. Just me a point of dawning when the time is right. So I don't ask, so what's going to happen after training me and I ascend to being a actual space marine? He's like, well, well, Sano. I will take you on missions with me to if there are warp dif disturbances. He's like, do you plan on going back to the other universe? He's like, hmm. I did want to go there, Sato. I will not lie to you, because I saw the importance and how much of a difference I could make, even if it was so minuscule. I could make a difference. There are some things about that world I just do not agree with. It was a toss-up for me. It's like, I understand. As he's like, ah, yes, Mosato. 
We must begin resume your training. Now come. And says like, yes, sir. As he comes rushing in at Deku as they're pretty much just fighting and hunting, you could say. This will be skip even later. Actually, you know what? This seems like a nice part to end it off at. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Hope you guys continue to enjoy this. I hope you guys have a nice day, nice night, nice life.